Oh, it is a very interesting wimmer of football. And uh, we've got uh, Scotty Stewart, who's been doing the numbers uh, with the fact that uh, the Southern Mallee Giants lost six in a row. Dimboola have climbed up the ladder into contention. The two Horsham sides are in the five. What a season it is. Scotty, how are you? Yeah, I'm going well, thanks, Wayne. Well, look, you saw Dimboola in the flesh last week, uh, and they've been winning week in, week out. Uh, they look like they got the side to make the finals. They beat you blokes in a great game of footy, and a game that was uh, up for the taking, and they, in the second half, went away with it like good sides do, 16-16 to 11-5, but she wasn't done and dusted um, the, until early in the third quarter. No, nah, that's about right. That's the way it all panned out, but... First half was pretty even. The uh, Brews got the um, a jump in the first quarter, and then the Eagles bounced back in the second quarter. It was only three points of difference at half time, and and uh, yeah, the, that, that third quarter was where the Brews probably um, they, they just opened up a bit. They kicked a couple of vital goals at the end of that third quarter, and and then they oh, that led by nearly what nearly five goals at three quarter time, and they sort of they, they did it pretty well because they took the um because it was a big crowd with that celeb- uh, reunion celebration weekend they took the crowd sort of out of it at the start of the the last quarter and um, they attacked hard I think they opened up a six seven goal lead and and um, yeah they they did the job pretty well but yeah we yeah we're talking there before about them aren't we and um, they're coming that, that's that's for sure they're um, only one game outside the the uh, the top five and for just about to start the second half of the year, so you think they're going to push their way pretty, um, you know, whether they get top three, I, I'm not sure, but uh, they'll certainly be a top five. And um, the team they've got, they've uh, got a good list together, so um, they're playing some pretty good footy. But anyway, the start of the second round, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out in the next few weeks. Ross and Lant booted three apiece for Demi, whilst Ryan McKenzie booted three for the Warwick Eagles. Um, that um, the Southern Mallee Giants lost to the Horsham Saints was telling. It was 16-9 to 4-10, and I've made the comment, um, even that despite the fact that they've lost six in a row, it's their inability to kick scores, but you've got to get it to kick it. And, uh, they are defending stoutly, and that's probably what they're learning from it, is uh, you know, putting some of these younger blokes back into defence to get them some game time. But at the end of the day... The Saints gave them a real football lesson. Yeah, they did, didn't they? The, 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 those last quarters or the second half of the Giants, and then uh, last week was the same. Now they, they held the three uh, minor scores, but I think if you went through the their their their, their runners, bad with the losses that they've had, they, yeah, they struggled to hit the scoreboard um, throughout the day, but especially in the in the last quarters. But um, you know, that that just tells them that with the with the lineup that they've uh, that they've got, they're obviously you know pretty well known. They've got a, a fair few injuries in um, within their uh, within their lineup, and um, you know I, I always say that the Webster boys, you take them out, where you're taking out a, a um, at least half a dozen goals a, a game, and um, whether they're back in this weekend. But you see, uh, there last weekend they um, picked up a fellow Jackson Trengave, like he's a former AFL listed player, and. And uh, not sure the backstory about it all was, but um, no, he lined up with them there last week and a big towering man and he uh, he's going to be pretty handy for them in, in their second half of the season, especially as they as they get their um, their players back. But yeah, not not last weekend, but um, I'm, I'm I'm thinking they'll be coming soon. Mm, absolutely, the yeah, former power listed player and uh, had a very very solid career. But uh, he's uh, certainly right at the end of his career, uh, that is for sure. But a very good addition. Having a look at um, the, the um, situation from the last six games, they have kicked 31 goals across six games of footy and uh, that's about five a week on average so that's not going to win you very many games in country football. Having a look at other matches uh, that were played last weekend and it was a magnificent performance by Stall 13-11 to beat the D's 11-9. Yeah that was a pretty uh, important one for him wasn't it? You're looking at the ladder and they put a two game break in third place over uh, Horsham and the, and the Horsham Saints and uh, it was a good game though it looked, right, the key looked at the scores they must have just held control after it got a good start, three goals up at quarter time, but then uh, just kept Horsham at a safe distance and come away with that two and a half goal win. But um, yeah, pretty important win for um, for the Stall boys down there, and um, 
uh, yeah, so the, the two game break in third spot, that's um, pretty good going at the halfway point of the season. Yeah, really good. Uh, tell you what, uh, coming back to earth with the boys from out there at Neil, they got absolutely hammered by Minute Matoa. 21 17 to six goals, four, and uh, they shared it around at uh, Minute Matoa across their goal scoring with Jay McGrath, four. Corey Morgan and Warwick Stone both booted three, and Will Holmes and Lockie Johns were real good for them. They are very, very quality players um, that on their list, whilst on the other side, Neil had Jared Dallenberg or Dallenberg and two to Austin Merritt. Okay, you mentioned uh, about games this week and the big one, the Southern Mallee Giants take on Dimbola. Down at Dimbola in the first round, the Giants beat Dimbola. The Giants have got some good players back. The Bromley Lynch uh, twins are back into their side and they will be better for it. They're a little bit confident that they can actually arrest the tide and turn it around. But can they do it against a quality big-bodied midfield with Billy Hayes um, and Jack Lant doing the damage for Dimbola? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? And that, that will be all answered here on that, um, this weekend, Barra Dimmy, with um, Dimmy returning to the field to uh, to host this one. And, um, yeah, we reported during the week that... Um, I'm sort of tipping that the winner of this game is will be in the top five after after this weekend. Just um, it's all dependent on other results at the moment, but um, it's 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 vital for for both of them. And it's, it's, it's a bit tough for the, the Giants. They want to break that six game losing streak, and they're going to come up against Dimbola on their on their home track over over there. So it'll be pretty tough. They. Um, uh, yeah, well, we've spoken about Timmy, haven't we? And we we rate them. They, obviously, they had that um, that um, deficit at the start of the year, but um, halfway point of the season, and they're, and they're just outside the uh, top five with with five wins. So you, you do that again in the second half of the season, that's going to that's going to guarantee you a, a final spot in that. So, but yeah, we got some quality. You mentioned those couple of lads there running through the midfield, but I think we might have mentioned a couple of weeks ago, the new fellow. Not a new fellow. He actually played with them last week, last year. But uh, Dylan Tarkson was back into their lineup uh, last last start, and yeah, he's a, he's a quality player. But these other recruits, uh, um, John O'Ross was another one. He um, he bagged uh, about three goals against the Eagles last start there. And yeah, they're they're, they're quality players, and they're they're going to um, they're going to trouble a fair few sides. And I'm thinking they. Um, that's, uh, the Giants might have to wait another week before they break that losing streak. All right, our at play stall. They hadn't played since the Easter weekend. They're at the Alexander Oval and it is match of the round stuff. The Rats haven't been headed all year. Can the Warriors do the damage? Yeah, this will be the, the biggest test, won't it, for the, um, for the stall lads down at Alexander Oval there on the, on the big ground. They... Um, they, the, the rats haven't played for a couple of weeks. They um, didn't play over the long weekend like everyone else, but then sat out a team by in the last weekend. So um, who knows? Well, that's what that does. You know, it's, it's obviously good for um, rest and niggling injuries, and they'll, they'll probably have a full list to to pick from. But the store boys, well, they've been going at it pretty hard, and it's um, going to be pretty match with, especially after that one last weekend. They were forced all the way. To the line uh, against Horsham, so this this should be a um, a, a good game. I, I would still favour our Rat. They deserve to be favoured. They're, they're undefeated and they're sitting on top of the ladder. But they are coming off a couple of weeks off, and sometimes that can be a bit detriment to you. You, 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 just, you just don't know. But um, I think Matty Wilder will have his um, lads down there pretty well fired up for this game when the the Grampians rival the. Uh, Against Stall, and yeah, I'll look off. They might just make it a nine in a row, but um, it'd be a good game this one. Be a beauty. Um, Horsham D's, I think, will get the job done at the City Oval against the Nil Tigers. And the final one I want you to comment on is the Saints taking on Minya Matoa at Coglin Park. And if the Saints are going to uh, retain that place in the top five and uh, show that they're the real deal, beating somebody above them is going to be a very important task. I reckon Minya Matoa will nail them. Basically, traditionally, these two sides playing at Coghlan Park is always a tough battle. And um, the, the, I think the Saints have got their best chance of um, knocking over the boroughs um, with this game this weekend. I'm not saying they're going to do it. I do agree with you. I reckon the, the boroughs deserve to be favourite and they um, they could well take take the points. But I will just have to say that on their home deck at Coghlan Park, they're a tough um Tough lot to uh, to knock over there, the, the Saints, and they'll be confident uh, going into this game. They've played some pretty good footy over the last couple of weeks, and we spoke about that one last week when they um, controlled the Giants pretty well there um, in, in that uh, victory last weekend. So I reckon, yeah, a really 
another a good game. Um, I think it's going to be played in pretty good conditions on a pretty good ground over there at Coghlan Park. So um, it should be a good battle. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you there. They, uh, the boroughs, uh, I'll tip the boroughs, but um, they're the same to have their best chance, I would imagine. Yeah, they're coming off a couple of wins in a row, uh, including one over the Warwick Eagles, who this week sit out the bye. And so, Scotty, you have a bit of a break, um, uh, maybe even a long break uh, with some holidays coming up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's uh, a couple more weeks. We'll be we'll be doing that. But um, yeah, it's, we're a bit like our rats. We uh, we're the ones who played over that long weekend with against Stimmy and then uh, sat out the the remainder of that round two weeks ago, and then sat out our team by sit. We'll sit out our team by, I should say, this weekend. So um, yeah, a couple of weeks away from it, and then um, yeah, we uh, might talk about it later, but we'll. We'll hit the road and we'll, we might be chatting from a, from a distance. So, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> Great stuff um, and good to cover Wimmer of Football with Scotty Stewart from uh, the Warwick Herald. And uh, we'll talk next week. Yeah, no worries. Go on, you won't.